final set is cancelled, so I'm left with x cube by three minus d, this thing. And there is, again, I'm taking x cube common. So I'm taking one by factorial to three, and there are other terms involving uh, power of x square and higher parts. And that is another x cube, the denominator, we cancel these two things. This x cube and this x cube is cancelled. So actually, we are lived with this one by factorial three minus this order of this x square factorial three. Okay, sir. Okay, so this is very simple. Now you are putting x, x tends to zero, all three things will be zero. The result is one by six. Sir, and someone is waiting. Again, someone is waiting. Okay. Then any question on this example? Anyone? Then I will no, sir. change. To, okay. Then I will change to the next problem. Uh, what is that? Uh, Max. Max min Taylor. Okay, this problem was solved, huh? so that of all rectangles of given area, the square is the smallest parameter and maximum in the largest area. These two problems were solved in the last class. Please respond. No, sir. No, sir. This sir. problem was no, not sir. discussed. No, sir. Was. No, sir. Okay, no, sir. Then I think I think the previous up to the previous problem was discussed. This uh where 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 is divided and this, this no sir i'm telling you This problem was discussed. This. Uh... So the last problem was discussed to find the point on the parabola. This one was sir. But uh, only up to parabola and nothing more. Sir, the no, sir. Point to the parabola. Is it nearest? Nearest point to parabola. So it, yes, it is sir. the next one. Okay. 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 Then this is the next problem. Then let us let us solve this first. Okay. Let us solve this in fast maximum minima problem or maximum minima. Can everybody see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So okay, read it out. Read it out. Then I will explain this thing. Aware, aware of length L. Aware of length L is cut into two pieces. Achha. And one is bent to form a square. So in one from one piece, we are forming a square. And the other Piece of wire, we are forming a circle. Now, what should be the wire be cut? That means, what is the in two different pieces? How we can cut? What will be the ratio of this cut? So that some of the areas enclosed by the two pieces, that means the square and the circle, some of the areas will be minimum. Some of the areas will be minimum. Okay. So I am having one uh, piece of uh, total uh, length, uh, total wear of length L. Suppose length L. Okay. So I have to first of all cut it into two pieces. So suppose I am cutting this in two in a piece, in the ratio one is to lambda, one is to lambda, one centimeter into lambda centimeter. That means uh, if the total length is one plus lambda, 
then the ratio will be one centimeter lambda centimeter. Then by using the unitary method very easily, uh, class seven problem. So th that if the total length is L, then the ratio will be L by one plus lambda and L lambda by one plus lambda, okay? L by one plus lambda and L lambda by one. Actually, uh, out of one plus lambda, there is one. So out of one, there is one by one plus lambda. Out of L, that will be L into one by one plus lambda, this way. So these are the ratios. I hope up to this is no problem for anyone. No, sir. Okay, we are, remember that this L is fixed. L is a constant, it is given. And lambda may vary. Lambda may vary. Now, using this part, L by one plus lambda, suppose we are forming a square. We are forming a square. The length of the side is X. So what is the total perimeter of the square? 4x. Obviously, 4x. So this 4x should be the length of this part of the where L by 1 plus lambda. 4x must be equal to L by 1 plus lambda. That means each side should be L by 4 1 plus lambda. This is the length of the side of the square. Clear? And the other piece, that means this, L lambda by 1 plus lambda, the other piece is bent to form a circle. So what is the perimeter of the circle? 2 pi r. From that, r should be L lambda by 2 pi 1 plus lambda. L lambda by 2 pi 1 plus lambda is the r. So we got the length of the square and radius of the circle this way. So we can find the Yes, sir. So, sir. our sum of the areas, if you denote by capital A, if you denote by capital A the sum of the areas, mm -hmm. that will give you A, A is equal to L square by 16 1 plus lambda whole square plus pi L square lambda square by 4 pi square 1 plus lambda square. Now here, L is constant, pi is absolute constant. So only the variable is lambda. That means capital A, this total sum of the area we have expressed uh, in terms of a single variable lambda. Okay, so we can try DA, D lambda. That's pi by eight pi one plus lambda cube. Okay, that's differentiating this thing by u by v method. Uh, no calculation is shown here. You can, I, I think you can do a square by 16 lambda is simply constant. And differentiating this pi plus four lambda square by one plus lambda whole square, it will get this thing. So this is the d, d lambda. And d to a d lambda is this. A square by eight, eight pi is constant. Further, one plus lambda whole to the power four. 4 lambda plus 3 pi minus 8 lambda. Okay. The simple E by V method, you can differentiate and you will get this after simplification. Okay. I'm not doing this thing. This is I'm giving as an exercise. I believe everybody can do it. So now DA D lambda should be equated to 0 as per the theorem. So that will give you the what that will give you 4 lambda minus pi equal to 0. That is lambda is equal to pi by 4. Lambda equal to pi by 4 is the value and if you put lambda is equal to pi by 4 there it will be d lambda will be greater than 0 obviously greater than 0 okay here d to a d lambda is equal to l square 4l by pi 4l plus pi by 8 pi 1 plus lambda all together, that will be greater than 0 okay so at this value lambda is equal to pi by 4 a is minimum by the theorem, by the condition of maximum minima, that will be minimum. Now, what is the minimum value? Minimum value you put here at A, in this expression you put lambda is equal to pi by, pi by 4. 
lambda is equal to pi by 4 you put you get the minimum area okay now any question no sir okay now let us take the second problem sir someone is waiting i just entered him kobir kobir arwa jaisa kuch naam i'm not getting in list okay sir someone so, messaged me message is coming but i'm not getting anyone uh, pending here if i cannot get pending how can i enter him he should again try to log in otherwise message will not come sir i think he is network problem no uh, it is a network problem he cannot enter Yeah, if you are if you are having problem, problem. it's not in my hand. Okay, okay. Then 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 uh, then. Uh, previous problem previous was problem this. Was uh, this. Uh, Next uh, problem. Number Next two. problem. Number two. A wear of length twenty meter is bent to form a circle. Circular sector, not circle. A circular sector, part of a circle, of maximum area. Find the radius of the circular area. So it is already given that. Your area should be maximum. Then find the radius of the circular sector. Okay. And the total length is twenty meter. Remember. So here, this is the figure. By the way, we have formed a circular sector, O B A. A B is a part of a circle. O B is the radius. And suppose this angle is theta. This angle is theta. So the total O B O. Say, if half this arc angle theta. half, half r square theta. Okay, very good. Who who answered? Who answered? Varsha, no Varsha, no. Okay, whatever is the thing, whatever with the uh, student, he has given the correct answer. Half r square theta. Half r square theta is the answer because anybody is having any confusion why it is half r square theta? Any explanation is required? Anyone? Or everybody is clear? Why it is? Why it should be the area should be half r square theta? Any doubt? Anyone? Please respond. No sir. Everybody is clear, na? Okay, the entire area is pi r square, and the entire area will put here two pi angle in the center. So for two pi angle, it is pi r square. So so one angle, one degree angle will be pi r square by two pi. Pi r square by two pi is half of r square, and for theta angle, it will be half r square theta. Simple unitary method here also. So the area this is given by capital S area of the circular sector will be capital S that is half r square theta. And theta is again replaced by small s by r. What is small s? Don't confuse with capital S. Small s is the length of this arc, AB. Small s is the length of this arc. Okay. So again, I'm telling capital S is the area, and small s is the length of this arc. And that will be again by the same lo logic. It will be r theta. Total is two pi r. For one degree, it will be two pi r by two pi. That is r. For theta angle, it will be r theta. So r theta is the circular sector. And s, so uh, we can replace this theta s by r. So it will be half r into s. Now, can you tell what is s? S means this length of this circular sector, this circular part. What will be the length of this thing? Anyone? What should the length of this a be from the given condition, given data? Can you find? No, 
निशा निशा झा कैन यू हियर मी हाउ हाउ यू कैन फाइंड लेंथ ऑफ द सर्कुलर सेक्टर ए बी सर्कुलर पार्ट ए बी अनमोल गुप्ता अनमोल गुप्ता शीला भट्टाचार्य कैन यू हियर मी यस सर यस सर सो कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट द टोटल लेंथ इज ट्वेंटी व्हाट शुड बी द लेंथ ऑफ दिस ए बी इट इज वेरी सिंपल टोटल दिस ओ बी O A and this A B circular adding to twenty. That means only A B should be twenty minus twice a twenty minus twice a. So this is given to be this twenty minus twice a taking two common ten minus a. This is twenty minus twice a. So this will be the S smallest. So half of R into two into ten minus R. So two two is cancelled. Only ten R minus R square. so our required area we could express this function as a function of r only now we can minimize the r mean find the value of r so that s is minimum so maximum so ds dr is equal to 10 minus twice r and solving this we get r is equal to 5 and d2 s dr2 is equal to minus 2 so it will be always less than 0 so there will be only maximum no minimum value okay because If I just if I just take this uh, r uh, longer and longer and a b small smaller and smaller, the area will be tending to zero. Okay, are you getting this? I am just making this radius longer, longer, and this a b smaller this way, smaller. So it will be area will be minimizing. So there is no minimum value, only maximum value, and for max for that maximum value r should be five. So what is the maximum value? Five into r fifty minus twenty five. That is twenty five. Twenty five square centimeter. Okay. So this is the maximum area of the circular sector, and when the uh, radius will be five. Okay. And uh, third problem that Out of all rectangles of given area, the square will have the smallest perimeter. So when the area is given of a rectangle, suppose rectangle of side x and y, so if the area is given, then the perimeter will be minimum when it is a square. So that you have to show it when it is a square. First problem, second problem is the converse one. When the perimeter is given, when the perimeter of all rectangle is given. The square has the largest area. Square has the largest area. These two problems should be solved. So, how to find the first problem? Suppose the length of the rectangle in x and y, length and breadth. So, obviously, x y is equal to k. This is given. Okay, given area. So, k is given. So, x y equal to k. This is given. From that, we can substitute one variable like a y equal to k by x. Okay. now you have to minimize the perimeter smallest perimeter you have to show after for smallest perimeter perimeter x is equal to y so first of all uh, take the from the function of perimeter that will be twice of x plus y twice of x plus y and y is equal to k by x so twice of x plus k by x that is the function in terms of x of the perimeter that is to be minimized so ds dx is zero So d s d x is zero means one minus k by x square is zero. So k is equal to uh, plus minus root k, plus minus root k. Okay, and d two s d two is equal to four k by x cube. So we have now minus root k has no meaning. Okay, x cannot be negative. The length cannot be negative. So only root k I am considering. And if you considering root k, that will be The uh, d2s dx2 will be 4k by root k whole cube. That is k root k. K k is cancelled. 4 by root k is positive. That is minimum value. Okay. D2s dx2 will be 4 by root k is this one. Okay. This is, is positive. So it will be minimum. So x is equal to root k will give you the minimum 
area. And when x is root k, then what will be the value of uh, y? x y is equal to k. So x is equal to root k means y is equal to also root k. Okay. x is equal to root k means y is equal to root k because root k into root k is k. So x is equal to y. So we could show that the rectangle will become a square. Rectangle will become a square if I uh, uh, stick to the minimum area condition. Okay, if I from the area to be minimum, x should be equal to y. I think the problem is clear to all of you. Any question on that? Anyone? No, okay. Uh, others, others? Yes, sir. Others, Sharma? We have x into k minus x is the total area. Then x into k minus x is kx minus x square. If you differentiate this thing, that will be k minus 2x. So x will be k by 2. So if x is k by 2, that will be y is also k by 2. Because k by 2 plus k by 2 into 2 is twice k. Okay. So I'm not calculating this thing. Very simple. The same way. As previous, you can solve the problem. Here, only the perimeter should be the function. And in the earlier problem, the area was the function. OK? It's a simple problem. Now, this is a very important problem. Uh, I will discuss this thing as a last problem, actually. So, so the maximum value of x plus 1 by x is less than its minimum value. And also explain this. Uh, apparently anomalous result okay this is a meaningless thing the uh, maximum value is less than minimum value how this can happen so please explain the, the result so fx is given to be x plus 1 by x so f dash x will be 1 minus 1 by x square and if you take f, f dash x equal to 0 that will give you obvious, uh, obviously x equal to plus minus 1 okay from this equal to 0 x equal to plus minus 1 Okay, now f double dash x equal to 2 by x is key from this. Okay, obviously 2 by x is key. Now, if you put 1, that will give you 2 and it is greater than 0. So, greater than 0 means at x is equal to 1, fx is minimum. 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 So, f1 is equal to 1 plus 1 by 1, that is 2. So, 2 is the minimum value. And also, f double dash minus 1 is minus 2. Okay, this is minus one cube, that is minus one. The minus two is less than zero. So fx should be maximum at x equal to minus one. Now what is the maximum value? Minus one, minus one, that is minus two. So the minimum value is two, maximum value is minus one. So minimum value is greater than maximum value. Up to this is clear to all. What is happening? You are getting minimum value as per the theory. I have just followed the theory. So I've got minimum value is greater than maximum value. Now, anybody can explain this thing, why this thing is happening? Why this anomalous result or absurd result is coming? Can, can anyone explain? Dilshad? Dilshad? Joita, can you hear me? Joita Sen? Yes, sir. Joita Sen. So, you have an explanation for this, why this thing is happening? The minimum value is greater than maximum value. When I'm calculating, it is coming. So, what is happening? No, sir, don't Any explanation? know. Don't know. And anyone else? Can anyone give the explanation? Nundini Pal. Okay, then let me try to explain this thing, why this is happening. Actually, this is happening because we are making a mistake. Actually, when uh, we developed the maximum annual theory, one, one point was there, okay? The very important point, if I 
ignore this point, then absurd result will come. What was that point? Function must be continuous in the range. In the in the in the range in the in the interval where we are trying to find the maximum minima, the function must be continuous at that range. If the function is not continuous, then there is no meaning of finding the maximum minima. Uh, anomalous results should come. Okay. Now in this problem, x plus one by x. If I take the point zero, if I take the point zero, this function is having infinite value. That is not continuous. Okay. I told you. The basic meaning of continuity is for a finite x, there will be finite y. So, but this y is not finite. For x equal to zero, that is zero plus one by zero is infinity. So, this function is con not continuous at x is equal to zero. But when we are differentiating, so we are assuming that the function exists for all at x equal to zero. This f dash s also does not exist in x equal to zero. That is the core of the problem, because we are Assuming that the function is continuous at all points, but it is not. So, let us first try to uh, draw the function properly. Okay. So this is the draw the uh, graph of the function. Okay. If you have in the positive domain zero to infinity, so you can see x plus one by x. So when x will be very large, then y will be also very large, and x is very small, going to zero. It will not cross zero, only zero. Then also, also x will be very large because x plus one by x for x is very zero. One by x will be very large. That means this is the curve where this point will be the minimum point, where is one to two. Okay, I don't know. This is this will be one to point. Just I can draw the graph this way. Similarly, for negative x, for negative x when x is very large, they going to minus infinity. Then x f x will be also in minus infinity, and when x uh, x is neg negatively very close to zero, negative plus very close to zero from the left hand side, then also the uh, y will be going to minus infinity. Okay, because one by zero will be very negatively large. So this is the graph of the curve, and very clearly it is not continuous at zero. You can see the from the figure it is not continuous at zero. So that is why the problem is coming. If you take the curve in a continuous, what about zero to one? So in the zero to one, if you take x plus one by x, then obviously the minimum value when x is equal to one. So that is okay, no problem. The minimum value is equal to one. Similarly, when if you take the negative value only, the negative domain of x, zero to minus infinity, then also minus one at minus one is the maximum value. This is the maximum value. All values are Even lesser, but the value is minus two. So the result is not wrong if you take the curve in a proper way. Okay, if you take the curve in a proper way that is maintaining the continuity, then you can analyze. Then result is okay. But if you take the curve as a whole, the result will seem to be contradictory. Is that okay? Anyone is having any question on that? Tell me. Anyone? Vishnu Sharma. Vishnu Sharma. Yes, sir. Are you getting what I told in the last problem? Yes, sir. You got it. So function yes, must be continuous for in, in, for uh, getting the proper maximum minima, local maximum minima. Function must be continuous. So that is the point. Okay. And okay. Pallavi Kumari. Priya Jha, Priya Jha, can you hear me? Yes, sir. You have any question? No, sir. Prajal, Prajal. Prajal Mitro, Prajal Mitro. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. 